to my seven week pregnancy update. Um, I've been keeping some notes on my phone for you guys this week just so I had everything that I wanted to share with you guys for my seventh week. Um, so first thing I want to share with you guys is I went back to work yesterday. So I had two months off uh, for the IVF cycle um, because I was on the flare protocol, my clinic said that they had to be the ones to mix my Lupron, that I couldn't just get the meds from my pharmacy in town, that I had to actually be um, in Vancouver where my clinic is. So I was off work for basically two months and I went back yesterday full shift and it was pretty <laughs> exhausting just because I'm used to having a midday nap <laughs> and uh, not staring at a computer screen all day. So that was... Um, Took a, took a day to get used to, but today was a lot better and I don't feel as tired today. Um, but yeah, I'm happy to be back to work and back with my team. Um, the other thing I wanted to share with you guys is something that um, my coworker, my friend actually told me that she's been using for her pregnancy is the What to Expect app. So what to expect out is free. It's a great way to kind of track your pregnancy. So you just, all you do is just put in your due date as well. Um, actually just put in your due date and then it just kind of tells you like what week and what day you're on, how your baby's progressing, what's happening um, with the baby's development, as well as what's happening, what could possibly be happening with you and your body. And just kind of lots of nice information. I am always sharing it with Colin to let him know like what's going on. Um, as well as there's some pretty good articles on here as well as you can kind of see um, what dates are um, and what weeks you are on this app. So that's a pretty good app that I've been using and finding it pretty helpful. Uh, foods that are helping with my nausea. So I think last week I kind of told you guys that I've been having nausea from morning to night. Not ha haven't thrown up yet, but just having that really um, bad like fluish nausea where I feel like I am going to throw up, but I don't. Um, so things that have been helping so far is oranges. So having like some oranges by my bed, which is another tip from my friend. Um, and having um, my Skyflake crackers um, by my bed and eating those before I get out of bed. Um, I actually found that if I eat enough throughout the day, like regular meals as well as snacks and meals with protein, that I actually don't have as bad of the morning sickness when, right when I wake up if I can eat enough the day before because I was doing pretty good until yesterday, my first day back to work, I wasn't eating as much because of course I was busy. Um, and this morning I woke up and I had probably the worst nausea I've had in a long time. So I think just eating regularly and eating foods with protein, I know like for me, I'm really turned off on all meats right now like chicken doesn't sound good beef doesn't sound good it depends like what's in it like obviously if i just bake some chicken breast that doesn't sound really good to me which is usually what i eat when i'm not pregnant <laughs> um but yeah meats just really don't sound good to me unless it's kind of like fast food so trying to get my proteins in with like eggs or hummus and you know even if it is ha does have to be fast food just making sure i'm getting the protein in um but my battery's gonna die, so I'm just gonna change that quickly. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, so foods that are helping with nausea, so oranges, sky flakes, protein, ginger ale. Ginger ale has been really helpful because um, especially when I'm now that I'm eating more, I get more bloated and there's a little bit more pressure on my stomach. Sometimes because of the nausea, if I feel like I have to burp, sometimes it feels like I'm also gonna throw up and then that just keeps me bloated. So the ginger ale is good with just even like helping um, get out some of that gas through burping. Another thing that has been really helpful, like especially when I feel like I am gonna throw up, like in the moment, are these ginger chews. I got these at TNT in Vancouver. Um, they're by Prince of Peace, some kind of Asian brand, and they're pretty gingery. Like they're sweet, but they don't taste like candy. Like I definitely wouldn't give this to a child. They're very strong. Like they do have that spiciness like that actual ginger has. Um, so these are really good. I'm almost out, but I'm going to Vancouver um, this weekend. So I'll be, have to be get, get more. And I leave some of these in my purse. I leave some of these in my car. Um, 
and then in all my purses and then of course at home as well as this is funny because I never even thought that this would help um, me in the future but when I took caffeine out I really got into this um, shoppers brand tea if, or not shoppers they sell I buy it at shoppers but it's president's choice which is superstore or Loblaws if you're Canadian um, but it's just a ginger peach tea and I really like it it's, it has that tart fruity taste to it and yeah of course it has ginger root and other stuff so this has also been really helpful f um, in the morning for my nausea um, and it's a really yummy tea Ca of course it's herbal so it's caffeine free um, so yeah, so those are all the foods and things that have been helping me with my nausea as well as I bought this and it's funny because I even bought this before I found out I was pregnant um, sometime during my cycle maybe after the retrieval I'm not too sure but I went into um, Essence which is uh, an essential oil store and I was looking for a new essential oil because I only have like a de-stress one that has like lavender in it and the sales associate was asking me what I was looking for and I just said I kind of want something that would be safe for pregnancy I didn't tell him I wasn't pregnant at that time or that I was doing IVF but he just said oh that's good that you mentioned that because some essential oils or actually a lot of essential oils are not safe for pregnancies so he basically gave me a list of um, essential oils that were okay so a lot of them were citruses lavender and peppermint those are the three that really like stand out there wasn't very many um, I think chamomile was one of them but there wasn't very many that were actually safe for pregnancy so we found one this one is an energy aromatherapy I hope you'll be able to see a roller ball with essential oils and it just has orange and lemon essential oils so I just put that on my temples and on my wrists or behind my ears and just that smell is actually really nice and invigorating as well. It kind of calms down the nausea. Another pregnancy purchase that I bought, and don't laugh, but I think it's really important to just be comfortable on your stomach. Like I said in my two week weight video, like I wear nothing but like sweats and track pants and nothing like tight around my stomach. And even if I did wear jeans, I would already do that um, rubber band or hair tie method where you loop your hair tie through the buttonhole. Um, I mean, I could still do up my pants, but it was a little bit snug. Um, just a little bit uncomfortable. I just said, you know, I might as well, while I'm in Vancouver, since there's not a lot of options here in Grand Prairie, um, to just look at some maternity pants. So I did find a really good pair, and I don't think they're too expensive. They're $39 from H&M. And they're these really nice dark denim, with the big belly band and I was told by lots of mothers and expecting mothers that the larger belly band was the most comfortable so it goes over the belly instead of kind of that ones that are a little bit like maybe halfway or half the size of the band just because the half ones kind of roll under the belly they said so I was told to get these and they're super comfy I don't have like much of a bump or barely any <sighs> of a bump right now but this is going up to like my bra line basically um, but they're super comfy and these are the super skinny uh, maternity jeans from H&M I think they have a regular skinny pant um, that's a little bit more expensive I think it's $59 and that is a more is a thicker material it's more like a jean whereas these are more of like a jegging but I like these because they have a skinnier ankle which is perfect for fall and winter to go into the boots as well as the band is super comfy so these have been my go-to jeans for now and I'm actually really happy with this purchase and I don't mind at all that I have to wear maternity jeans right now as long as I'm comfortable I don't really care um, so yeah so those are some of my pregnancy purchases so far let's check my notes here okay so uh, a lot of people have been asking too what vitamins and what medications I'm taking. I know I've said it before in multiple um, IVF2 videos, but I just wanted to say it again. Um, so because um, I'm still within 10 weeks of my cycle, my fertility clinic still wants me to take my progesterone, which is my endometrin uh, vaginal tablets, twice a day. 
as well as Estrace, which is estradiol um, supplements. So I'm taking uh, two of those a day and they're 2.0 milligrams. So I'm taking those twice a day until week 10, which she said was about November 14. Um, I'm also taking vitamin D. This brand is by New Roots. Uh, vegetable capsules, vitamin D3. So there are a thousand international units per capsule. So I'm taking two of these a day. As well as my acupuncturist recommend I take fish oil. Pre, this is the prenatal DHA fish oil. And the brand is by Nordic Naturals, which I actually bought at my acupuncturist clinic. And I'm taking two a day, 685 milligrams, or sorry, 500 milligrams. And of course, I've been taking these since January. These are my Craig Vit Folic 5 prenatal vitamins. So there's an AM pill and a nighttime pill. So the AM pill is iron based. Um, so I have to take this um, without food. So either an hour before I eat, which usually makes me pretty nauseous, um, or two hours before I eat. And then the nighttime pill, I think I can take it af an hour after I eat my dinner. So those are what I'm taking every day. And then at week 10, then I will stop the endometrin and the estrace. As well as, I want to share with you guys that I had my first appointment with my OBGYN yesterday, which, um, who I have met before, he was my gynecologist, and he actually made the referral to the fertility clinic for me, and it was nice to, you know, celebrate with him, because he knows that we have been trying for a few years now. Um, and we just kind of talked about how my cycle went, what vitamins I'm on, he, um, made up some requisitions for me to get some just routine blood work done as well as a 12 week ultrasound at the end of November, which I'm so happy because Colin will be off and it'll be his first ultrasound. Um, so I think he said it was like a viability ultrasound just to make sure that there's still two babies and everything is looking good and they're growing as they should be. Um, and one thing we talked about was um, delivery methods um, he mentioned that usually for twins, they don't like to go past 37 to 38 or 38 weeks and that most likely um, I would have a C-section, which I'm not opposed to and I know other people have different opinions. For me, since it's my first, like I just want whatever's going to be safest for me and safest for the babies and he assured me that this was most likely be the safest for the babies. So that's kind of something that we talked about in brief yesterday. Um, as well as just the follow-up appointment. So that was my first meeting with my OBGYN. And I think that was pretty good. And he's a really nice doctor and I've known him for years. So we already have that relationship and I trust him. Uh, things that I'm thinking of, oh, sorry, no. Uh, new symptoms. Do I have any new symptoms? Not really, just the nausea, which I'm playing around with how best to manage it without any um, medication at this point so my OB did offer to write me a prescription for some di dislectin, diclectin, I don't know how to pronounce it but it's basically an anti-nausea pill that's really safe and um, no harm to the baby at all. He gave me the prescription in case I needed it but I feel like I don't need it. I just kind of have to make sure I'm just eating properly. Um, as well as breast tenderness especially in the morning like when I get out of bed they're really sore, they feel like somebody's pulling them down. Um, and tired, like exhaustion, like I think that's normal and I think, you know, just resting when you can, taking it easy. Um, yeah, so not really new symptoms, just more bloated and I think that's just kind of playing around too with my diet. Um, but yeah, so far nothing really this week is new. Um, things that I'm starting to think about. So stretch mark cream or stretch mark oil. Do you guys have a preferred brand? I've been doing lots of research and it seems like people like different things. That there's like a whole mixture out there. There isn't like one leading brand. Like of course like Palmer's Cocoa Butter is like the tried and true like oldest 
oldest one out there, but if any of you have brands or products that you really loved and that you like, please let me know in the comments which stretch mark oil or stretch mark cream should I start using. Um, one of the ones that I was looking at was the Lush um, massage bars that you just kind of like rub in your hands and then apply to um, your belly and it's supposed to be really moisturizing and has lots of natural ingredients. Um, another thing I'm really thinking about is cribs, especially with two babies. Um, the crib that I originally had in mind kind of doesn't really work because it's a little bit large. I'm kind of looking more at mini cribs. The one that we really like right now is the Stokey mini crib. I think it's called the Sleepy. Um, so we're kind of looking at that one. It is a little bit pricey, but I think it's something that our babies can have for a while. As well, of course, we're looking at stroller travel systems. So a double, which are not very popular. We have already been to two stores and it doesn't seem like there's a lot of selection for doubles that fit two car seats. And I think that's really important to us is to be able to fit two car seats, not just two toddler seats or not just one car seat. So yeah, if you guys have any recommendations for those cribs for twins or travel systems for twins, let me know in the comments. As well as I want to thank you guys so much. We have over a thousand subscribers now. Our um, channel is growing insane, which is so crazy. And thank you guys so much for following on our journey and for all of your support and your kind comments and your love. And we really do appreciate it. It's so exciting for Colin and I to kind of know that we're not alone and that everyone's rooting for us and we're all in it together. Um, but we wanted to celebrate somehow with our thousand subscribers, maybe like a Q&A. Um, if you guys have questions for us in the Q&A, you can put them in the comments below if we have enough good questions to put a little video together. And that's something Colin and I can do because he's off next week. Um, yeah, but thank you guys. I can't believe we reached a thousand subscribers. I did not think we would get there this fast, but I think that's so cool. And I thank you guys so much. So next week, I'm going back to Vancouver for my week eight ultrasound and that might be my last appointment at the fertility clinic. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy to get to see our little babies again next week and hear their heartbeats and see how big they're growing. Um, yeah, and I'll take you guys along of course for that and keep you guys posted with anything else that happens. And hope you guys enjoyed this week seven update. Please let me know in the comments if you liked it and anything else that you want to hear in my next update, leave likes. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because of course you'll get all the latest information on all my updates. And thank you guys again for watching. Have a good night. Hey, no, no, no.